are they? I'm sure I heard someone. Oh, just as I was afraid of. I'm too late. Hello? Can you hear me, little one? Careful, dear. Don't stand up too quickly. I know. You have many questions. I'll answer them, but I need you to take it easy. All right? Here, let me help you sit up. Before I explain things to you, I need to ask you a few questions of my own. It's important that I know a few things so I can be sure your condition is normal, or normal as it can be. Do you remember your name? Shh, it's okay. It's normal not to remember at first. It will come back to you eventually. I'm here to help you however I can. Now, do you remember why you entered the cursed forest? You were seeking the Lady of the Woods. Oh dear. No, the legend of the Lady of the Woods is true. Actually, I'm her. <laughs> Are you just now noticing the antlers? That's alright. I know you have a lot on your mind. Why were you looking for me? You don't remember? It's okay. I'm sure that it will come in time as well. Here's the most important part. How do you feel? Hmm. Yes, I'm sure you feel strange in general, but do any of your limbs feel cold? Hmm. Yes, they are see-through, but not cold. Good. Can you see and hear things normally? Good, good. Yes, it's normal that your sense of touch is a little dull. Alright, everything is as expected. It's time I explain what happened to you. You're in the cursed forest. Mortals don't come here often, thanks to the legend of this place. Legends which, unfortunately, are true. The forest bewitched you caused you to get lost. You weren't able to leave before sundown, so you must have fallen asleep. That's where the curse would have taken effect. You've become a shade. Shh. Please, allow me to continue. Yes, that's why you're see-through now. Dead? No, you're not dead. Not exactly. Being a shade is somewhere in between life and death. Oh dear, have you gotten lightheaded? Here, I'll help you. Come over to this fallen log and lay your head on my lap. It's covered in salt elf quilt moss, so it's very comfortable. There, there. Do you mind if I stroke your hair? I think it'll help. Are you well enough for me to continue? All right. I'm afraid that, as a shade, you can't leave the forest. No. Unfortunately, it's quite impossible. But you won't be alone. There are other shades here. Once living humans, just like you. They're very good company. And you'll have me, of course. Who am I? Well, like I told you, I'm the Lady of the Woods. I'm a spirit of this forest. My whole purpose, my very reason for existence, is to look after you and the other shades like you. The bond between me and my shades is very close, like that of a parent and child. Maybe even closer. I promise you, I'll look after you. Oh dear, I'm not sure you should get up yet. You're still... Wait, 
Where are you going? Wait, you can't leave. Stop. Stop. We're close to the edge of the forest. If you try to leave, you'll... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Oh, that was close. I thought I lost you. Shh. I know it hurts. But you'll be alright. I caught you. I'm so sorry, dearest one. I should have told you. The reason it's impossible to leave because the force is sustaining you now. If you leave its protection, you'll fade away. No, not die. Fade. You won't exist anymore. Shh. Don't give up hope. I've been working on a way to undo the curse for a long time now. We have all the time in the world to find a way to fix this. For you, and all the others. Hmm? You... You remember your name now? The shark must have jogged your memory. What is it? Oh, what a lovely name. It suits you. Do you... Remember why you were looking for me then? No, it's quite all right. There's no need to rush. You can sift through the memories at your own pace. You... You were sick. And you thought that I might be able to cure you. Well, I'm afraid I don't have the power to cure mortal ailments. But, in a way... You've been cured anyway. Yes, that's right. Shades don't get sick. They can't die either unless they leave the forest. Well, yes, I suppose that being a shade could be considered a sickness of sorts. But if nothing else, now you have hope. Like I said, I've been working on a way to reverse this curse. Until then, you can rest assured that you will be under the best care, my dear. Can you stand? Here, take my hand. No, it's quite alright. You can keep holding it. I'll hold your hand the whole way through if you like. Where are we going? We're going home. To where you'll be living from now on. It's a lovely place. We built ourselves a little village. The people are very kind. It's actually quite a nice life there. Shades don't need to eat or sleep. It leaves a lot of time for other things. Going on walks, talking with each other, playing games. One of our newer residents have been teaching the others how to play the flute. We're almost there. Yes, see the cottages? We all pitch in to help you build your very own. It can be just the way you want. Hello, everyone. We have a new resident. Welcome. It's nice to meet you. It's okay. We're all here for you. I know that all of this is a lot to take in, but you've been handling it very well. We'll all be here from now on to look after you.